Here's the most common question I see in the Tanstack form Discord channel. Why is my value not updating here? And also, look, if I increase the counter, then the value updates. Is this a bug? The answer is no. It's a feature and it is 100% intentional. The same happens to React hook form and other form library. And the reason behind is JavaScript. There's no need to worry. The solution is usually one line and that's how we do that in Tanstack form. But before fixing this bug, I think it's much more valuable to understand one, why the values are not updated real time and two, why it is 100% intentional. Let's not forget that behind every possible JavaScript framework or library, there's JavaScript. And even if this is an extreme oversimplification, we can clearly see that even if a value is updated in JavaScript, as you can also confirm here, there's literally no reason for the DOM to update and show in the UI your new value. We usually take this for granted, but React and all other frameworks are actually taking care of updating the UI. Now, if I click my button, you will see that also the DOM here changes. And maybe you're doing it without thinking about it, but you're doing all the time. When you have some local state, you never write state equals state plus one because you know that doing this will not trigger a re-render. Instead, you call set state because you know that calling this function will ask React to also update the UI. And this is why even if your form state changes, the value is not updated even if you type in your input. Let's now see why it is intentional. Back to Tanstar form, as you might guess, the state is not exactly handled through use state, and that's why React is not automatically re-rendering. There are primarily two reasons. The first one is that with this technique, you do not have any useless render every time you type something. And only if I increase the counter here, you see a new form we render. The reason number two is that Tanstack form is framework agnostic. It supports React, but also Vue, Angular, Solid, and Lit. And you can also use it without any framework because it's just JavaScript. But the question remains, what if I really want to trigger a render because I always want the fresh value to be displayed in the UI? The answer here is that you have to subscribe to the value changes. And you should also subscribe to my YouTube channel. As mentioned in the intro, with Tanstack form, you can easily do that in two different ways. The first one is with your store, and the second one is with the subscribe component. The usage is pretty much the same. You define a selector function with the path of the object you want to track, and that's basically it. As in this case, first name will always be updated with the most recent values. But you have two different methods, and there's actually a reason. They pretty much do the same thing, and spoiler alert, Subscribe is just a wrapper of your store. But there's a tiny difference in deciding which one to use and it has to do with performances. Back to our code, let's give it a try with your store first. This hook means that every time first name changes, the value here will be updated and React will trigger a re-render. So if we fix the path here in order to use our first name, if we go in the browser, you will see that now it is updated real time and also the entire form is rendered every time I type something. Let's now see the difference with form.subscribe. I can remove the entire block and replace it with this one, but as you can see, it's pretty much the same text, just wrapped inside form.subscribe with a selector that is the exact same as the use store selector. And here I also added an extra console log. Let's remove this one and Let's see what happens. If we go on the browser, you can see that again, every time I type something here, the value is updated. But is our component re-rendering? This time, only from the subscribe re-render. You can see that if I hit the counter here, they obviously both re-render because the parent is re-rendering. But if I change something here on my input, only from the subscribe is re-triggered. The biggest advantage of using form.subscribe is that it basically creates an inner component that can re-render autonomously without affecting the parent and everything else outside. As promised, the solution was really simple, but I think by understanding a little bit more how everything moves under the hood, this will save you quite some time in the future when dealing with similar situations. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!